Hello students, in today's video lesson I am going to discuss about the third topic according to your uh, syllabus that is circular flow of income from your introductory macroeconomics part. Now in the book you will get uh, in uh, as the first chapter okay in Sandeep Gar's book this is the first chapter circular flow of income okay. Now in your syllabus you are having circular flow of income in two sector economy okay in simple two sector economy. Now uh, before going to that main thing or main thing that is circular flow of income in two sector economy you know, need to know various things that is uh, what is uh, two sector economy or what is uh, what are the other sectors we are having or how many sectors we are having okay then how we can um, get this circular flow of income two sector e in a simple two sector economy then uh, I'll uh, give you some idea about the uh, circular flow of income in two sector economy with financial market okay. So, all these things we will cover under uh, this chapter okay. Uh, so, first of all I want to discuss about a simple two sector economy first okay. Uh, under this part what you will learn, you will learn about the household sector farm sector and the interdependence between these two sector okay household and the farm sector okay. So, let us move on to the first subtopic that is simple two sector economy. Generally uh, there are uh, four sectors in an economy okay like households, farms, government and rest of the world. Okay, these are the sectors we are having four sectors. Let me annotate household, farm, government and rest of the world or you can say foreign sector as well both are same. Okay, the, uh, you can um, call it as ROW as well means it is the short form of that rest of the world. Okay, so these are the four sectors we are having. But According to your syllabus, you will have only two sector means circular flow of income in case of two sector economy only okay, where we will consider only two sectors these are household and farm okay, these are the two sector this is the one and two okay, second sector that is the first sector is household and second sector is farm. We will uh, assume that there will be no intervention of the government. So, automatically that third sector uh, become omitted ok. Then we will see that uh, we will assume that uh, the economy is a closed one that means there is no foreign sector as well means uh, closed economy means what? The economy which is closed and uh, is not connected with the uh, other rest of the world other economy or other country actually countries actually or there is no trade between the foreign and, uh, uh, countries. So, that is uh, the another assumption ok. So, basically in case of simple two sector economy we are assuming what we are assuming that there is no government intervention ok no government intervention and the economy is closed ok. That means there is no foreign trade or no uh, relationship means um, uh, commercial relationship between the countries ok. So, this is about the two sector economy. Now, moving up to the next one means let me uh, tell you what is household sector ok and what is the another sector that is farm sector. Now, household sector means what? Household means in generally we are the households, okay. We are the consumers, okay. Because here in case of households, we are including those consumers, those who are consuming what? Goods and services as a final product, okay. Basically, households are, uh, household sector includes those consumers, uh, those who are 
purchasing or consuming goods and services okay so we can say that we are the households now here we can also say that these households okay they are the or you can say we as a household we are the owner of all the factors of production what are the factor of productions we are having in class 9 you have read about this and also we know means from 9 10 onwards uh, already we have discussed that there are four factors of production that is land labor capital and entrepreneur or you can say organizer okay so these households actually are the owner of this uh, production factors of production okay why because if you see any land who is the owner of that land definitely that person is a uh, uh, the owner of that land is a household means belongs to a household okay he or she is also a consumer the laborer you can consider means in the labor market we are also labor actually laborer as a teacher we are teaching you we are providing you the service okay we also belong to means uh, belonging uh, to a household actually we are also from coming from the household okay so in this way we can say that all these factors of production coming from households or they are the owner of these factors of production now uh, the households actually supplies this factors of production to whom to the farm to the production unit okay and in return they are getting what in return they are getting income like for the land uh, the owner of the land can get rent the owner of the labor means who is paying uh, uh, giving uh, the service or giving uh, his or her labor in exchange he or she is getting what salary or wage the person who is investing money okay or uh, lending money the person uh, that person will get interest in return the entrepreneur or the organizer who is organizing all the uh, production things means all the uh, thing production unit actually uh, that person will get what his or her return is known as profit okay so in this way rent wage interest and profit these are the return of this factors of production okay so household provides or supplies this factors of production to the uh, farm sector and in return they are getting this rent wage and interest uh, and profit okay now the purchase and the uh, and consume goods of these household sector actually they purchase and consume goods and services produced by the farm okay we are the we are as a household okay or as a consumer we are purchasing all the goods and services required for our livelihood from whom from the farm okay or from the production unit and in return what we are giving in return we are paying money and from where we are getting this money we are getting this money as a the income from the farm okay so in this way that, so there is a circular flow as you can see that uh, we are providing or we are supplying the uh, factors of productions to the farm in return farm pays us with that money we are purchasing goods and services from the farm so there is a circular flow okay uh, later on i will discuss i will show you the circular main circular flow or the concept or the definition i will give you that uh, the definition of circular flow of income but for the time being i hope you can understand there is a circular flow of this income actually okay so let me tell you uh, another thing that uh, the here we have to assume okay in case of the circular flow of income in case of two sector economy we have to assume one uh, thing uh, that the households are not saving anything means they are not keeping any income means uh, their entire income whatever they are earning they are spending the entire income they are not saving anything 
okay that thing you have to assume and in case of farm sector also we will assume the same so let's see the farm sector or you can say the production sector okay so here actually the uh, this sector actually includes whom the includes the producer those who are producing goods and services in case of household sector we are considering or we are including the consumer of goods and services here we are considering or including uh, the uh, producer of the goods and services okay now they uh, they are hiring as we mentioned uh, as we know from the last light actually households are a supplier of all the factors of production they are supplying whom they are supplying to the farm okay so farm is the hiring authority so farm hires the factors of production okay that is land labor capital organizer or you can say entrepreneur from the household okay now uh, in return what they are uh, giving they are giving some payment they are paying some money to the households okay in return so this is known as factor payment okay the farm they are paying factor payments to the household sector why because households have already given or supplied uh, some factors of production to the farm that is why they are providing this factor payments to the household okay now the uh, uh, this farm sector actually they are producers okay produces the goods and services and sell it to the households why they are selling it to the households because uh, until and unless the farm or the production unit sells their product to uh, the consumer they will not get any money okay so for return for some income they are selling their product that is goods and services to the consumers okay now if you see the uh, previous slide means uh, household uh, sector here they are i have mentioned they are purchasing and consuming goods and services and here the farm sector actually produces the goods and services okay that is why the first point i have mentioned that it includes what it includes the all the producers those who produces this goods and services okay now um, here also we have to assume one thing like the household sector farm whatever they are earning actually they are reinvesting the entire thing okay they will reinvest the entire income they will not save anything they will not save they do do not save anything okay so here this is the assumption in case of household we assumed that uh, household will spend entire income they will not save similarly in case of farm they will reinvest entire income they will not save anything okay so that is all about the farm sector now moving towards the interdependence let's see the uh, interdependence between this household and the farm sector okay so how they are interdependent see the farm sector depends on the household why because household is the owner of uh, the factors of production and they are and that is why they are the supplier of this factors of production so that is means because of that farm sector depends on household similarly household also depends on farm why because who is the supplier of goods and services which we require or uh, the household requires actually the farms are the uh, supplier of those goods and services so household sector also depends on the farm sector why because they supplied those goods and services they produced and they then they supplied to the households there is another type of dependence as well means in terms of money these are the dependence means this two dependence in terms of what uh, in terms of you can say goods and services but now in terms of money also or earning also they are dependent or there is a interdependency between this two sector why because household sector depends on farm why because farm will pay okay uh, the factor payment to the household 
as uh, households providing or supplying their factor uh, of production to the uh, farms that is why farm will farm has to pay so if farm will pay then household will get the money for what to purchase the goods and services so farm also depends on home farm also depends on the household why because here farm will uh, farm can sell their product and in uh, goods and services to the households and in return the households will pay them the money the price of those goods and services okay so uh, in this way there is a interdependence between the household and the farm that is the two sectors of this economy okay okay uh, after this uh, household and farm sector we will have circular flow of income in two sector economy where we will uh, discuss about or i will tell you about the real flow money flow then circular flow of income and all but uh, today i will not in this video lesson to cover all these things is not possible so in today's video lesson i will end up here okay go through this and in the next video lesson i will discuss about the that a real flow money flow and circular flow of income in detail okay so for the time being thank you students